So now let's take an example on the exothermic and endothermic graphs and this is a past paper question. Now let's look at the question. Well, we don't know. If we first look at the graph, well, oh, we, if we didn't memorize the shape of the graph, then we don't know. We have no clue what's uh, an endothermic or an exothermic graph. So let's see. A diagram shows the energy profile for burning a fuel. So we know it's a burning fuel. Okay. So burning means combustion. Okay. And if you guys have a clue, if combustion gives out energy or needs energy well combustion is an exothermic reaction that's if you know but if you don't know we're solving as if we have no clue okay now let's take a look he asks you about the activation energy and the delta h well which of these a b c is the activation energy we said that the activation energy is the energy required to start the reaction so in order to start we move from the reactants towards the highest point of the graph so it's this distance so it's a so the activation energy is a so what about the delta h the delta h is h of products minus h of reactants right so it's the distance between the products and the reactants well which distance is this it's b so your delta h is b okay now we're done voila easy right so now he asks you explain in terms of bond breaking and bond making why this reaction gives out energy energy so he basically told you this is an exothermic reaction and he, he asks you to explain why is it so well because delta h is the difference in energy between products and reactants and in this case the reactants right here at a, are at a higher energy than the products. So delta H of reactants is higher than delta H of products. That's why the difference is negative and that's why the reaction is endothermic. So I hope this have made it clear for you guys on what the examiner expects you to know. And I hope this was easy for you guys. So now we're done with bond energies. Uh, if you feel the need, you need to practice more on this. So go and search in past papers for more examples. I hope you find what you're looking for. So good luck, guys. See you.